guys. So glad you're here. Welcome to another edition of the Thriving Christian Artist Podcast. I'm Matt Tommy, your host, and really excited to have another guy, first of all, and another guy who loves nature as much as I do. Pat, man, I'm so glad you're here. We're going to have a, a great conversation. I know. Welcome to the podcast today. Thank you. It's good to be on. Absolutely. You know, in the artist world, I don't know if you ever feel like this, but I'm always looking for more testosterone. And so, <laughs> yep, it's always good to have another guy on. But listen, for those of you uh, yep. that are out there, maybe you don't know Pat and, and um, all the stuff he does. He's not only an author, uh, uber creative guy, but uh, does incredible nature photography and that sort of thing. Pat, give everybody just kind of the thumbnail sketch where you are, what you're doing right now creatively. And then I want to jump into a little bit of uh, your backstory. Yeah. Um, right now, what I do is I am, uh, I have a website called the Visual Bible Verse of the Day, which I post to there daily a um, uh, a photo I've taken of God's creation, along with a passage from his word, and then a short little devotion. And I do that daily on, on uh, my website, the Visual Bible Verse of the Day. And then uh, I also have a book uh, coming out. Uh, Kind of similar to that, only more in depth, uh, and that's called Drawing Near, um, Meeting God in His Creation, and it's it's using photography and um, God's Word and devotions to come together to draw people to closer to the Lord, and uh, so that's kind of what I do on a daily basis for, and I and I'm a been a photographer for all my life, wow. my whole career. So is your photography work that you've made a living from, is that mostly nature photography or are you doing other things that other photographers do, headshots and uh, events and all that other kind of stuff as well? You know, I've done a little bit of all of that. Uh, at one time I worked for a magazine, a Christian magazine. I worked for them for um, about 12 years. That was the longest stint yeah. of doing any, and I love it. it was photojournalism and I worked for a newspaper before then. And uh, um so that was, you know, that was part of what I did. And I've done headshots. I've done portraits. I love doing portraits. But over the last two, six or seven years, the biggest form of income from me has been real estate photography. And then I do the nature stuff because it's my passion and yeah. it's building. Uh, you know, there's a lot of competition there, uh, but it's building, finding my niche here with using that to draw people near to God and showing them how they can draw near to God. I love through uh, nature photography. So that's kind of growing, but I've done, but the last six or seven years, it's been real estate and sports photography. So I've got, I've got a little everything, but yeah, nature photography is totally my passion and helping other people. It's celebrating God as creator and helping other people draw near to God through that. So, you know, Pat, I'm interested, um, you know, for me, I obviously, you know, I love nature just with what I've done over the years yep. with with uh, being in the woods and, and creating materials. And it was something for me that kind of um, snuck up on me, I guess. It was something that I, I'd kind of intuitively loved. I never really thought of, um, quote unquote, a connection with God when I did that, you know, early on. And really for most of the years that I did it until, I, you know, the Lord really started kind of um, downloading that that understanding to me. And I'm under, I'm just interested for you, like, you know, you're a photographer all these years. When did God start to make the connection for you that he wanted to speak to you and encounter you and uh, and talk to you through the thing that you've been doing to make a living through your photography and through nature? It's a, it's a process just like anything else. And I, when I, I started working with this Christian magazine, it was part of a, a, a Christian organization a bigger, uh, well, it's called Campus Crusade for Christ when yeah, I joined sure. it, and, and now it's called Crew, but I, there's a lot of different facets to that, and I had a lot of friends in there, and, and we take these backpacking trips, um, and I started, at, even though I was doing journalism, I started getting more into this nature stuff, and really connecting with God, and then I'd be on a, a trip, a photo shoot, and I'd find myself, after the shoot was done, I would just doing random animal photographs god's creation and then yeah. i would made it more deliberate where i would take time off to go to uh when i had a, i'd stay an extra day or two to go to a national park when i was away on a trip because that's what i wanted to do and and while i was doing all that 
I was I was conscious, but mostly subconsciously yeah. connecting with God. Yeah. Um, just doing that, and as I as I photographed, I was I was subconsciously connecting with God as Creator as I was photographing His creation. Because and... I think all of us can relate to that that idea that. I'm doing this and I'm not necessarily thinking about connecting with God, but I know something is going on. Like I, I feel fulfilled Amen. in the flow, overflow, whatever yep. it is. Yeah, I, I totally get it. And, and I became now, as I've gone on with that, I've become more deliberate, you know, and almost to the point where it's it's not about the pictures anymore. It's about connecting with God mm. when I go out. And, and that's kind of the, the thought process going in the thought process going into going outside. Sometimes I'm pretty specific. I want to get a photo of this thing. Right, this right, is right. What, especially when I do this, the, the Bible verse of the day. And I'm like, I want to find a photo for this verse, <laughs> you know, and I'll be more deliberate about it. But uh, in, in terms of going for the photo, but sometimes I'm just more deliberate about meeting with God mm. and let the photo come from that. And we can do that in any form of art, right. um, you know, we could just let that, we could go for a walk in the woods and, you know, like you're, you're saying about every basket begins with a walk in the, in the yeah. woods. And um, you can, you could do that with anything that we're, we're, we're photograph. I mean, we're, we're pursuing an art. If we're going to uh, use nature as our canvas, as we, as we create from there um, and we go out and we study it and we look, at it we see just how god's made it from the tiniest detail to the to the grand scheme and as we study it that way we could you know have this conversation with god but even if we're not using you know creation in our art whatever our art is just to go for that walk in the woods stimulates our mind just to think creatively yeah yeah um yeah you know, I was thinking um, before our conversation, the, I was like, when was the first time like I really started thinking about God speaking to me and, and the outdoors and all that kind of thing? And I was thinking about a camp director, summer camp director of mine. Um, this is when I was in college and we're talking about mid 90s. Um, I worked at a camp in North uh, Georgia called Camp Glisten, which was a Methodist camp up in the mountains. Beautiful. Nice. And um one of the things that that uh, our our director would do is he was training counselors would take us on these hikes, you know, up into the middle of nowhere. And then he would say, go just take some time in the woods, maybe 20, 30 minutes and find something that speaks to you about your relationship with God or about something that God is speaking to you now. And it really kind of spurred me as a young person to start thinking about nature as metaphor for life and for my, my own connection with the Lord. I'm just interested for you as you're spending so much time uh, out there in the woods and out there in nature, what are some of the, the, the metaphorical th- lessons that the Lord has taught you about, uh, you know, through nature and through being uh, in, in the creative world? Well, in nature, there's so much. And, and if I could take it from, you know, put scripture into that too, like, like when, uh, I don't know how many times is in the book of Psalms, especially with David, I think it's over 20 times that David refers to God as his rock Mm. in a metaphorical way. And for me, I could, I get a bigger picture of that when I'm out in the, it could be in a mountainous setting where these, these granite peaks, or it could be even in a, in a desert setting because I've been in both where you see these large mountains and whatever rocks and you get the idea you look at that and it's like god is my rock that thing's not moving it's not going anywhere i could stand on it and feel solid i could um i could uh you know just i find shelter in it like yeah. david found shelter in it so different it's vantage amazing. point maybe on the top of it. a yeah, vantage sure. point yeah, yeah, yeah everything everything about that rock and that firm foundation, uh, and even going back to Jesus saying about the man who builds his house. I mean, when we build our lives on his word, we're like a man who builds his house on a rock. Yeah. You know, even going back to that. So that's just one of the metaphors that, you know, that kind of 
I see in, in creation. Yeah. Uh, I think it's like for all of us, you know, you think about the, the scriptures, the heavens declare the glory of the Lord, the earth shows forth his handiwork. And it's like, God is always speaking all the time. The kingdom's always on his voice is always speaking. The issue is, are we tuned into it? Right. Are we Amen. taking the time to yeah. listen and to look for it? And I think that's the thing that I think we get to do as artists, which is call people's attention to maybe the things that they don't always uh, pay attention to, you know, and I'm, I'm interested for you, this whole verse of the day and a photo of the day and that sort of thing. Anybody that's tried to do anything every day, that is a big undertaking. I don't care, <laughs> you know, how it starts or or if it's just, you know, brushing your teeth every day. Like every day is every day. So I'm interested for you, this this project that you've been doing. When did it start? What was the impetus for, for that? How long has it been going? And, and what are you learning over this period? It started a long time ago because I had an idea for a, a, a book. That, at that time, the book idea was called God's art, and it was these stories that I would learn just about with spiritual connections and spiritual metaphors that I was getting from being in the outdoors. Yeah. And I thought, I'm going to write this book called God's Art. Um, I can't remember the subtitle I had for it, but it never came to be. But when I thought about um, building a platform for it, I thought, I need to start that. And I started doing this, just a verse and a photo a day on Facebook. That's how it started. I even then came up with this page called God's art. I still have the page Yeah, and it started there. And then I thought, well, you know, it's just a verse. We're, we have verses all the time, but we don't put them in context or we don't know, you know, it's just because everywhere you could get a verse of the day. So I thought, sure. I'm going to start to add to mine. <laughs> and so that's how the, the devotion part came into it. And so it all started trying to promote a book that I never wound up writing, writing, uh, but I just kept doing it and it was, and it started just on Facebook and then eventually, but you know, I should probably put a website, right. And start doing an, and, and you know, I had a simple blog on the site called blogger. If you remember that's way <laughs> <I> back. <laughs> and then I went to a word, you know, wordpress.org and had a, build it all up from there but yeah so that's kind of the history behind it and then that kind of led into the book project kind of came out of that as trying to even go a little deeper uh on these devotions instead of just doing one or two par paragraphs like that's done quick and yeah yeah so how many have you done so far i mean do you do you have a, a running number of what you've done uh i don't <laughs> i could probably <laughs> count on the website but i don't and i will a give lot, you a little right? sometimes I, sometimes i one and refurbish it just a little bit yeah and run it again absolutely <laughs> so, uh, so i'm interested you know, for you, is that something you do like every day or do you do you batch them in like schedule you know a week at a time or a month at a time or because again you just think of the the habit and the the discipline of doing something every day it's not an easy easy task. part of it is done ahead of, oops sorry about the noise <laughs> part of it is done every day and part of it is done ahead of time yeah, so yeah. It, it, uh, it does, it does a little bit of both. So yeah. I just love it. I love it. You know, I'm actually, it, it, it's I would love I'm, to do it. I would ahead. love to have 10 in a row all set to go. Right. And <laughs> you know how that is being an artist. Sometimes we just don't. No, I get it. Well, you know, I've said forever, you know, I want to do a devotional. I want to do a devotional. And I just came out with this new book, God's plan for living. And Yes. Everybody's been like, you know, you got to do a devotional with this. And so I started looking and of some things that I wanted, you know, to put together. And all of a sudden I started going back to my Facebook posts and over the years. And I was like, doggone, these things are anointed. Like they're really, yeah, you know, they're, they're kind of stream of consciousness. You know, like you say, they just kind of come out in the moment. But I just it's like, wow, there really is gold in in so much of those things. And I think for all of us, it's just a matter of again, whether you're in nature or whether you're in social media or in your art practice in general, pay attention to the things that you think are just, you know, the automatic spontaneous things. There really it can be a lot of gold uh, that's there that you can harvest and assemble together in a book or, a you know, something like what you're doing. Yeah. Uh, and and the, and the devotions that the majority of the devotions in the book are taken from something I wrote on my website. Yeah. yeah where I just kind of ex expounded on it. Yeah. And, you know, you're right about 
sometimes you you write something on social media and you're like maybe i should save that <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was that's pretty good <laughs> well i actually got smart and I, I it wasn't me it was my wife actually we were talking about this this has been several years ago now and she said you need to get you know she talked about one of the team members she said you need to get them to just harvest these every day when you put them up just put them on a google drive and and so we've been doing that for years now and and tagging them you know and they're and they're there and it becomes this repository and um I just think for anybody, it's, you know, the issue for creative people is never having enough ideas, right? It's what do we do with all the ideas that right. we've got and just simple stewardship of recording something, journaling it, whatever. And so that you can use it is, is huge. So when is the book coming out and uh, what's, what's the format going to be and all that? The book is coming out uh, June 6th as the awesome. official release date, and it'll be available anywhere you like to buy books. And, uh, just you could you could pre-order it now. It's pre-order on a bunch of sites, uh, and um, the format of the book is it's a devotional, but it's it's a photograph I've taken with a scripture verse, and then after this, I kind of broke it down into five sections where I say in the Word, which is the scripture verse, yeah. and then in context, right where, where I like to go a little deeper about the meaning behind that verse or maybe talk about the whole chapter or something or the whole psalm or whatever and then i go into in nature which relates the scripture to nature and sometimes it's pretty obvious the connection but sometimes it's you know we want to learn a little bit more about nature and how it you know it connects to that scripture verse and then i talk about in us and how we could apply that to our everyday life and make it more practical and then I have a little section called in prayer and I have a prayer. It's usually a, a sentence or two. And then there's little notes to lines to take notes. So that's kind of the that. format of the book. Yeah. I love anything that, again, you, you're giving people something to chew on and really just more than just a pithy statement. You're really giving people something to think about, pray about, process themselves and, yep. um, and to do so with, with beautiful imagery as well. That's, that's really awesome. So, Pat, I know folks are going to want to see all the great stuff you're doing. Uh, probably subscribe to your verse a day as well as yeah. uh, get the book. So where's the best place for them to find you um, on social media and all that? The best place to find me is my website is called the, the visual verse dot the creation speaks dot com. So it's a little long, but yeah. uh, it's visual verse dot the creation speaks dot com. And you can't find me on uh, I'm on I'm on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram and a few others. And uh, on Facebook, you just search God's Art by my my I got a nice Italian name, which is Pasquale Mingarelli. <laughs> <laughs> I go by Pat to make it easy on most people, but it's uh, it's Pasquale Mingarelli. So it's called God's Art. Um, by Pasquale Mingarelli, the visual verse of the day on, on Facebook. But if you go to visualverse.thecreationspeaks.com, uh, you'll, you'll find that there. Right. And then of course, there's a link about the book on my, on my page, on my yeah. website. We'll, we'll put the links to that on uh, whether you're watching on YouTube or listening on the podcast, you can find all of that right there. Be sure to grab the book and, uh, and see yeah. all the things that Pat's doing, but Man, I just love what you're doing. I love uh, the discipline of it every day, and I love the connection with nature. You're 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 uh, spurring me on to greater things here. I'm like, come on, awesome. you know, it every day. So, well, Pat, well, what a joy, man! It's a great it's great to meet you. Great to hear your story and introduce folks to what you're doing. Thanks so much for for being on the podcast today. Well, thank you for having me. I appreciate the opportunity.